Hey, it's Miss Hall. I know it's good to start art early, so this video is for even the tiniest of artists. Even if you're tiny, your art can be mighty. This is tiny art. Today, we'll be making a project inspired by the painter Henri Matisse. Our drawing will look similar to Matisse's painting called The Goldfish from 1912. This artwork shows little orange goldfish in a fishbowl swimming in bright blue water. Behind the goldfish, Matisse painted pretty leaves and flowers. He made them look like wallpaper or a patterned fabric. Henri did a ton of paintings with goldfish in them. He thought watching fish swim was relaxing, so maybe he wanted us to feel calm or relaxed looking at his artwork. Let's learn more about Henri Matisse. He painted using bright colors and bold lines. Some people thought that the colors in his paintings were too wild, but Matisse knew that if he used the right colors, his paintings would really stand out. He used complementary colors in his artwork. Complementary colors are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. We learned about complementary colors in Color Theory 102, but let's do a quick review, starting with red. It's across from green on the color wheel, so red and green are complements. Orange, it's across from blue on the color wheel, so orange and blue are complements. Yellow, it's across from purple on the color wheel, so purple and yellow are complements. If you want to make a goldfish project with me today, you'll need a piece of project paper and some scrap paper to practice some drawings on. You'll need something to draw with and something to color with. We're using the six colors from the color wheel and brown. Let's practice our drawing skills that we'll need for our goldfish project. I'll show you how to draw a fish with two shapes, a raindrop shape and a triangle. Draw the raindrop shape sideways for a body and use the triangle for the tail. Add an eye and it's a fish. Let's keep practicing. You can also make a fish shape with a long curved line like this or you could just draw the outline of the fish. Remember, we're just practicing, so if you need more time to practice, that's okay. Just pause the video and take your time. For our leaves, I want you to try some long loopy lines like these. We'll use this kind of line to make some Matisse style leaves. Using the loopy lines, make them in a circle like this. You'll get lovely, loopy leaves, just like Matisse. Nice work! Now we can start on our project. Grab your project paper and put it in tall portrait position. Draw a line across the middle of your paper like this. Now two tall lines like this to make a capital H. Draw a curve line on the top and bottom like a smile. And then another curve line on the top like a rainbow. And you have a fish bowl. Let's put the fish in. You can draw as many as you want. Color the fish orange and add the blue water. Orange and blue are complementary colors. We'll use the other color complements on our background. Let's draw some Matisse leaves on one side and some flower shapes on the other side of our background. Color the leaves green. Since green and red are complements, let's use red to color around our leaves. We can make our flowers purple. Since purple and yellow are complements, let's color yellow around our flowers. Color your table brown, and you did it. You made a piece like Henri Matisse. Try using the same shape we drew for our fishbowl in other ways. Maybe you're having milk and cookies. Or maybe you made a cool house plant in a decorative container. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Show me your art. 
send an email to Miss Hall's Art Class at gmail.com.